Hey guys, Terry here, and I'm back at you with another Unity tutorial for beginners. Now, a lot of you have an issue where you've made this beautiful game, but your player keeps falling through the floor and you can't figure out why. Now, why do I know a lot of you have this issue? <laughs> because a lot of you ask me how to fix it. So, here is the quickest, easiest way to stop your player from falling through the floor. Now, what you probably have is something like this, and you're pulling your hair out, and you're just so upset because your player just falls through the dang floor over and over and over, and it just it's, it's upsetting, right? So here's what you do, guys. Take a deep breath, go to your ground object, which for me is just an empty game object, and I put a sprite renderer on it, and I've given it just this white sprite and I've stretched it out by a thousand. Yours could be anything, grass, a block, anything, okay? You want to add a component. Now you want to add a collider of some sort. Now if you're making a 2D game, do a 2D collider. Or you can even do a normal collider in a 2D game. It doesn't matter. The caveat is that your player has to have the same type of collider. Now 2D or non-2D. So what we're going to do is just add a box collider to this ground object. Now if you look over here, the green highlighted everything. The whole thing is green. The whole thing has a box collider on it. If you look at the box collider, it's just centered on there. That's perfect. Now you hit play and you're still going to fall through. And that's because a lot of you missed the second part of this. You'll put the collider on your ground and you'll forget all about your player. Now for the player, what I have is just an empty game object and I've put a rigid, two, a rigid body 2D on it because this is a 2D example. Now you could put a normal rigid body if you wanted to but the, and then you would put a normal collider. They have to match. The rigid body and the collider type have to match, 2D or non-2D. So this is just a normal rigid body. I've done nothing to it. It has, that's so it has gravity and it falls and it's a, you, you can control a player that way with the physics engine. You can hand code your own, of course, and not even use rigid bodies, but this is for beginners. So we're going to add a component. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a 2D box collider because that's what we added to the ground. Now, if you notice, the player now has this green box around it, right? Now, if we hit play, watch this, guys. It's like magic. Boom. You no longer fall through the floor, right? But you might say, Terry, why is my player slightly above the ground? I don't like that. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. That's all in editing your box collider. You just go over here. Oops, I'm so sorry. That's going to restretch the whole sprite. You click on over here. Click on this little symbol under your box collider. And then that allows you to resize them any way you want. So we'll go up a little bit. We'll actually come in a little bit on each side. If you're doing things like wall climb and things like that, you'll really have to tweak your collider so it works properly. But now if we hit play, just in doing that, boom. Now we're on the ground and we're no longer above the ground. Now obviously I haven't coded any kind of movement controls into this. This is just very simple ground collision detection, whatever, for your game. So you're not going to fall through the floor anymore. Now you can duplicate this whole thing and make uh, wall pieces. You know what I'm saying? So if we just clicked here on the ground and we hit Control D to duplicate it, right? And we call this, say, wall, right? We, we could easily move it and position it in the game anywhere we wanted. And the player also won't fall through that. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? The possibilities are endless. Now you can get on with making your game. I hope you learned something, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in, guys.